Hi there, me, your humble, friendly neighborhood stroke consultant with recently combed hair. Um, so, let's just talk about my two favorite pair of fucking numpties. Oh, sorry, children need to leave the room now. <laughs> Oops, warning should have been ten seconds ago. So, children, please leave the room, um, unless your parents are prepared to let you hear really bad language again. So, today's episode is about my two favorite fucking pair of numpties in Australia and their idiot quack in California. Uh, John... Jonathan and Tommy, I'm glad to hear you're not dead yet. Um, you've, you know, apparently survived at least another month. So, you apparently returned from California back to Australia. From the land of the magical chiropractor. But it turns out, it could have been Bergman, or it could have been Jesus. You're really not sure which. Um, again, this video won't include any content of yours, because I still have yet to figure out how to do that. Um, so, this will be like Bullshit Aloma and Quackery Part 2. I, I don't know what we're going to call it yet. But, ultimately, it's this. Thomas and Jonathan, Johnny. So, you went from Australia to California to see a quack, um, a chiropractor, someone who tortures his victims and he magically cured you now you showed some documentation during your video that one doesn't identify you you blacked everything out well we already know your names and you're googleable on the internet I already know your last names so it's not like I can't find out who you are so you presented documentation that doesn't indicate it's for you um, doesn't indicate a date uh, you know, I, I can appreciate you don't want your home address or the doctor that performed the test to be known. I get that. But those tests, documents, you just could have gotten that off the internet, uh, created the document yourself, whatever the case may be. So I don't believe your documentation. Uh, the fact that, you know, a neurologist says something is just possibly in your head and it's not physically findable. Yeah. It's probably meaning there's nothing fucking wrong with you. Um, the fact that Mr. Bergman allegedly cures people, well, the only thing he manages to cure people of is money. That's it. He, he's not doing anything of any value except for removing currency out of their wallets and placing it in his bank account. Uh, so... I'm glad to hear that it was either Bergman or it was Jesus. You're just not sure which. Or you got the hybrid argument that Jesus brought you Bergman and, you know, he's anointed by the Holy One. Again, it goes back to what I said in my first video about you fucking idiots. It's God's plan if you get sick and die... And it's God's plan if you get sick and don't die. So either way, it's God's plan. If you die, you don't need Bergman. You don't need any doctors. Just pray. Just pray a lot. Every day. And, and maybe you won't die. And if you don't, that's God's plan. And if you pray every day and you die, that's God's plan. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, you made some assertions during your video that magically were back. And I'm going to be honest, I don't hate you. I, I don't know you well enough to hate you. Um, I think you're too moronic, audience-crazed individuals who are looking to inflate their channel numbers uh, to drive some kind of media, social media hype. I like to claim that they're dying so they can give away an iPad. Well, I don't believe you. Uh, I don't believe anyone is going to know, Hey, I'm dying! I'm going to get it away! No, it just doesn't work that way. You find out you're fucking dying, you're not too concerned about giving shit away. You know, and your leaky gut, your vertigo your edema, all of these non-neuromuscular events 
can't be fixed by buffoonery and quackery, snake oil salesmen and 1890s bullshit. You then made a statement that I find incredibly offensive, insulting, and just fucking wrong. You basically made the insinuation that Bergman heals autism. No, your body doesn't work that way. So again, I'm going to include all the links from the last video I did, and I'm going to include the links from the research on this video I did. Now, if you type in chiropractic treatment autism, you're going to find a lot of bullshit from chiropractic journals. <laughs> journals that are not scientifically peer-reviewed, journals that only have one point of view in interest. Um, so first off, what is autism? Autism essentially and i'm not going to give a like a large includes every possible situation i'm going to give a very general statement of what autism is autism is a neurological disorder generally due to the way the brain has developed um and and, and because there's something that is abnormal about the development of the brain uh, you now have sensory and communication deficits, right? Some of these deficits may be global, very life impacting. Uh, you think of your stereotypical child who simply rocks back and forth for hours. It doesn't really say much, if anything at all, to something slightly more, you know, not as life impacting. So there's many reasons for autism. Vaccines is not fucking one of them, for one. Um, it's could be genetic right there isn't a lot of research on all the potentialities for the, the reasons why someone may have autism right and in order to properly treat autism you need to take your child to a bevy of specialists that deal with the brain and how it works and you know pediatric neurologists and MRIs and I can't even imagine exactly what that'll take, but, but I know it's a lot, right? I, I know it's a lot. Um, and, and because autism is a neurological, neurostructural, neurochemical disorder, the pushing on your spine, the moving of your head, isn't going to fix a fucking thing, right? For you even to insinuate that Bergman has the ability to heal treat provide resolution to make things better for an autistic kid one shows how uneducated you really are two you've drank the bergman kool-aid three i honestly believe now and i can't prove it that you're sucking their cock of bergman and his family financially and they're paying you right to to say these just horrible things um and then four well you really have no idea what you're talking about, right? And you're trying to find a way to redeem yourself from the almost dying piece. It's insulting. It is, it is just completely, completely uninformed, uninteligent, unintelligent renderings of two post-pubescent fucktards. Do your research. There is no credible medical school, scientifically, university-based research on the impact of chiropractic treatments and their efficacy on providing any kind of positive resolution for a child with autism. And any, and, and, and any parent that says their autistic kid got better due to chiropractic treatment, they're just seeing what they want to see. They're grasping at straws. You know, I'm sorry your child had autism, and, and I can only I can only guess how difficult that would be. I can't even imagine how difficult that would be. But what I can say is this, the chiropractor's not fixing a thing. You know, there, there is no credible, reliable, repeatable evidence at all. None. Right? 
Um, you will find a lot of research papers from medical journals, scientific journals, that are part and parcel to the chiropractic industry. Right? And, and it's bullshit. So Johnny and Thomas from Extreme Games, I'm, I'm glad you're not dead. Because, you know, the world would be significantly a less interesting place with you in it. Um, but I, I wish you would stop espousing your bullshit aloma and your quackery. It's fucking offensive. It's absolutely just mind-boggling offensive. Right? Facts are this. One, you weren't about to die. You were legitimately not about to die. Right? Two... You were in the United States for three months. How did you afford that? Where did the money come from? What did that cost? Right? Hotel for three months? Restaurants for three months? Right? Private, uninsurable health care for three months? Right? I don't buy it. Right? Um... So the only thing, in my opinion, and, and, and I, this is my opinion, and it counts for what it does, you can consider it or not, I, I really don't care. One, you need to produce all the documentation that was created medically for you that indicates where the test was done, when the test was done, and your name is clearly on that piece of paper. Right? Two, you need to provide medical documents that indicate that, yeah, you, you were about to die before you left for California. Yeah. I still don't believe you were dying. I think that's complete fucking bullshit. Um, I, I find it offensive. I find it laughable. I, I find it ridiculous that you can consider... Um, the potential of abusing your subscriber base for the potential to give away an iPhone to inflate your subscription rate and attract attention towards your channel to create some hoax that you're about to die and then turn that into some circle jerking cock sucking fucking infomercial for a man that tortures people for a living now, he doesn't actually torture people, that's my opinion. Um, you know, like, no, it's just, it's reprehensible, right? So, and, and I, I don't hate you, because I don't know you well enough to hate you. I, I, I just, for someone that actually, literally, figuratively, realistically, almost died five months ago. Yeah, for you to claim that you almost died from vertigo? No. Almost died from a leaky gut? No. Almost died because they almost had cancer? No. Almost died from oedema? No. Almost died from a kidney problem fixed by someone pushing on you? No. Right? I'm not going to say you weren't suffering from some medical malady. Right? What I do say is you were suffering from a medical malady that you overplayed. Medical malady that was not as life impacting or altering as you claimed it to be that yeah you might have had the sniffles and then you figured i'll blow it up because no one on the internet's going to know any different and i honestly believe you weren't prepared for the internet backlash the, the spanking you got on the internet i don't think you're prepared for that um i don't think you were expecting the numbers of channels to do a response video to your bullshit um i think right now you're literally trying to sink swim or tread water and shit creek and you don't know what direction to move in um, because of the amount of backlash you got I, anyways i'm, I'm going to step off a of soapbox now because i've got nothing more to say about that but really thomas and johnny you're horrible fucking humans you remain horrible fucking humans um you know your thieves of air wastes of rations and bag of, bags of skin that learn to walk upright and talk. And Mr. Bergman is an excellent salesman. And the fact that you've created yet another infomercial for him and his bullshit and his chicanery and his quackery, man, good for you. 
Um, I'm hoping whatever kickback you're getting from him is, you know, more than enough financial compensation. On that note, I'm going to, you know, end this. Um, again, I never started this, this channel on YouTube to become a response channel. It's just I take some significant umbrage with the bullshit um, from the extreme games numpties. Um, because what they're saying is not medically substanti substantiated. What they're saying is, is bullshit claims, um, and I, I just take umbrage to what they're trying to indicate may or may not be the truth, because I honestly, honestly believe it's bullshit, absolute bullshit alone. Um, however, um, if you happen to be going through uh, you know, your own post-stroke journey or someone you know is going through a post-stroke journey, please like, share, subscribe. And if you happen to see someone going through or if you happen to recognize in yourself the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being, you know, you appear befuddled, confused, and it came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you have vision problems. You can't see it in one eye. Uh, the world looks kind of gray, whatever the case may be there. Um, and again, it's sudden onset. just magically happens. You're not able to, uh, you know, facial droop. So one side of your face is drooping. You uh, can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. Um, you're in it, unable to smile equally effectively or at all. You're having speech or language problems. Um, you're slurring, stuttering, uh, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. You're unable to stand unaided, general body weakness or weakness on one side. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.